but this little gem was sitting inside. I absolutely love these. Um, I was so excited when I saw what these comped out for. Let me see if I can show you um, the writing. Uh, I think you can see it better on this one. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, if you're new here, my name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And on this channel, I teach about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully source low and sell high. Now, I will tell you that I source cheap. Um, I buy things, usually I like to bundle and just make deals. So, I'm going to start with some of my bread and butter items here for you guys. Items that I sourced really cheap and I sold for a good profit. I sold these items for $35 or less and I call these my bread and butter bolos. So I've got 27 of them coming your way. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Let's get started. All right, so the first item here are these earrings. They are pierced starburst dangle earrings, gold tone costume jewelry. So nothing special about them other than they're just cute. And this was a lot of jewelry. It was from a lot of jewelry that my husband brought home from an estate sale. It was the end of the estate sale and they just wanted it gone. And they said, do you want it all for this price? And I can't remember what the price was because he's done this a few times. But um, I saw these, I thought they were cute. I picked out, I think 10 or so items and listed those for him. And I ended up taking a best offer of $16 for these and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold, I absolutely love this one. So I was at the Goodwill Benz and there was a bag of Easter items. And I was like, ah, kind of like a little mystery Ziploc bag of things. And most of it was just, I donated it. It was just little trinkets and toys that were junky, you know, like that you would give out as a party favor. But this little gem was sitting inside. I absolutely love these. Um, I was so excited when I saw what these comped out for. Let me see if I can show you um, the writing. Uh, I think you can see it better on this one. So you can see here it says 19, I believe it's 1976. I'm not sure why I didn't put the date in the title. Maybe I just ran out of room. I think it's 1976. Let's see if I, yep, 1976. I've got it down here. These are just three inch minifigures. If you see Hallmark items, definitely take a minute to look those up because some of them have some decent resale value. These are the Easter Bunny figures, uh, Barnaby and Bernadette. And I took a best offer of $35 on these. The buyer was all in for $43.69 and these sold fast. So definitely be on the lookout. The next item is this vintage Briar running foul paint. Um, somebody had messaged me and they think that this was a brown horse and somebody scuffed the paint to make it custom. So, um, when I learned that, uh, when I got the $10 offer, I went ahead and took it. So I did sell this for 10 bucks. Um, I just disclosed in the title or in under condition, I'm sorry, that I wasn't sure if that's what had happened and just included a lot of photos. And you can see right here, this is what the Briar. Uh, brand looks like. If you see this on the inside leg of a horse, definitely look it up. They are kind of hard to look up. Some of them, some people just know they're briar horses. Some go for crazy money. So definitely a bolo item, some big money, some bread and butter. Uh, $10 on that plus shipping. And I think I paid a dollar or so for that at a garage sale. These Lego Pirates, it's minifigures replacement. They've got their swords and their weapons there. Um, I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents and I ended up taking a best offer of $11 on these. So you can part out the minifigures, um, especially, you know, the Lego brand. Mega Bloks, same thing. Uh, people are looking for things that have been lost from their sets. And honestly, if you see a lot of Lego sets, a lot of people will sell the set and they will pull the minifigures and sell them separately. So people will sometimes buy the sets without the minifigures and then they need to go and find the minifigures. So people do search for them and the buyer paid shipping on that one. All right. This one here came out of a dibble box, a toy dibble box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. 
And um, it was a hundred dollar mystery box. And I do have a video on my channel that shows you everything that I got in this box. This item sold pretty quick. I thought it was going to be like a super slow sale for some reason. And surprisingly, it sold quick. The box was really damaged. And everything in the box, the, this toy box that I bought was damaged. The packaging was damaged. A lot of the items I took out of the packaging. But you should definitely check out that um, video because I show you how I turned that box into money by changing how I listed the items. All right, so this one ended up selling for $14. The buyer was all in for $25.33 plus shipping. And on a side note, for that, that was an auction that she was doing on her YouTube channel. And I knew that the items were um, had damaged packaging. So, all right, the next one is this Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse. It has lights and sound. It's just the desk here and you can see it lights up. I love selling Loving Family things. I feel like the market is kind of down right now for these things. Um, I did sell this one for $15. The buyer was all in for $23.43. This is what it's going to say on the back. They typically have a date and FP stands for Fisher Price. The Loving Family, once you learn it, you just know it. And a lot of times you can pick up a dollhouse with a bunch of furniture. And what I typically do is part out the furniture because you're going to make more money doing it that way. Now, are the items long tail? Yes, sometimes. The next item is this Santa Claus mug. And what happened with this one is somebody bought a mug from me and I shipped the wrong one. Um, and they ended up coming back to my store and saying, you shipped me the wrong mug, but I like this mug. Can you just ship me the other one also? So I ended up getting an extra sale out of my mistake. Now, does that normally happen? Absolutely not. I was fully willing to send them a return label and make it right. But luckily, they found another Santa mug that they wanted. This one I picked up at a garage sale and I sold this for $15. Buyer was all in for $23.89. The next item here is this women's belt buckle. And it's got this duck head on the back. So I just wrote duck head signed with a duck head. Uh, I, I don't know if it's a duck head brand. I have no idea. Uh, this also came out of a dibble box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino. Um, this one did take a little while to sell, but I, I could, I'm not sure what the brand was. And I'm not super great with keywords when it comes to jewelry, but I ended up selling it for $22.50 and the buyer was all in for $29.72. And I was super happy to get that out of it. I can't remember if this was a jewelry box or if this was um, uh, another dibble box that had a bunch of stuff in it. But all of those unboxings are over on my channel. They're either on this channel or my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, if you like those types of videos. This turtle, I just love this little guy. I got him at a thrift store for two bucks and I ended up selling him for $20, all in $29.06. And when I say all in, that means $29.06 was the sold price plus tax and shipping. Um, so I paid two. And he is George the Good Turtle figure, slow but sure figurine, super cute. Nothing really uh, special about it. It had this sticker on the bottom. It just caught my eye and I, I don't know, I just thought it was cute, so I bought it. <laughs> the next item are these clothes pins. And these were from my hashtag bins 10 challenge. So I picked these up at the bins, the Goodwill bins, and I did purchase them by weight. So they were a little bit on the heavy side. So I'm guessing I probably had, it's $1.79 a pound, I don't know, five bucks in them approximately. These ended up selling for $32 and they sold really fast. And the buyer ended up coming and buying something else from my store. So that was pretty cool. The next item came from that same dibble box with the damaged packaging. So if you look here, um, it had like an outer shell on it and that was dirty and damaged. So what I did is I popped off the outer shell and just left it inside the insert and I sold it like that. And I actually had two of these and I ended up selling them for, this one sold for 30 and I think the other one sold for a little more. And both of them sold pretty quickly. And again, that was out of a Dibble toy box from Donatella Bottolino. And I'll have her link down below along with auctions for you. All right, this truck here, I got this at a garage sale for 25 cents. It's actually pretty big. 
And I do recommend when you have toys like this that you use a tape measure because these come in like three inches, five inches. This one is actually like seven inches big. And you wouldn't really know that from looking at this picture. So that gives your buyer an idea of what to expect. So 25 cents on this, I ended up taking a best offer of $9.50 and the buyer was all in for 2020. Oh, and I wanted to share with you guys, somebody asked me why this does not match what I tell you. And that is because I have best offers and the price that I'm telling you, I have taken notes before the video and I wrote down everything so that I can give you accurate information. Because if you saw this, you would think I sold it for this price, but I actually sold it for $9.50. The next item, I don't even know why I picked this up, but it was at a garage sale, it was 10 cents. I'm like, it's ET, it's McDonald's. Um, I just thought it was cute, but it's a little Happy Meal toy and it's a it looks like a little VHS and you open it up and it's got this little ET in it. I ended up selling this for $5.92 plus shipping. I mean, 10 cents into almost six bucks. You know, it's not like my super best sale ever, but sometimes I just like to see if I can sell things. This vintage Wizard of Oz Munchkin Soldier. This one came out of a mystery toy box from Auctions for You. That is T and she is also linked down below. Donatella and T go back and forth on each other's channels and sell to resellers. So they wholesale things out, um, vintage uh, pre-owned items, not new stuff typically. Sometimes they get some new stuff, but not very often. And if you guys are looking for inventory, it's a great way to source. You don't even have to leave your house. It's all on YouTube. And I ended up selling this guy for $9 and the buyer was all in for $19.70. All right, here is another item that I didn't really source. Um, I Facebook Marketplace, there was somebody that reached out to me that I had bought from before. She's like, I have a bag of toys if you want to come get them. I think this was from the second load I got from her. But it was this puzzle and I'm like, ah, do I list this? Like comps are not great. It's kind of heavy. And I knew it was going to be a major bread and butter. But I'm like, somebody's going to want this. So I went ahead and listed it. Somebody offered me six bucks and I took it. Um, I've got probably a dollar or less in this. And the buyer was all in for $19.28 with uh, tax and shipping. The next item here are these McDonald's magnets. It's a lot of three. They are still sealed. I went to an estate sale that had, uh, it was a McDonald's employee and there was McDonald's stuff everywhere. Um, I wish I would have got to this sale sooner because such cool stuff. But anyway, I paid a buck for these and I sold them for $16 best offer. And the next item is this Beswick England Dalmatian dog. And for some reason, you can't see my picture. And I remember picking this guy up. I got him at a garage sale for a buck and I just thought he was super cool. I priced him kind of high. I did take a lower offer and we're going to talk about that here in a minute. But I want to show you these pictures. Anytime I find like little dogs and stuff, like this, I will pick them up because they generally, somebody's looking for them, especially uh, like a Dalmatian. It's a harder to find um, figurine. This one, I took a best offer of $30. The buyer was all in for 39. This was also from that Dibble toy box with the damaged packaging. So what I did is I took her out of the package, just like this, and I left this inside the package. So she is new old stock without the original packaging. This is Vanna White. She is a home shopping club Wheel of Fortune fashion doll from 1990. I ended up selling her for $14 and the buyer was all in for $25.82. This Thor was also in that same, or no wait, yeah, that same Dibble box. So everything was pretty much um, it boxed and new, but damaged packaging. But she also threw in some pre-owned stuff. So this was one of the pre-owned items. It was just a bag of stuff. These are called Hero Clicks. And I think they're game pieces. But what I want you to know is some of these go for decent money. But I had so many. I lotted most of them up. But this guy stood out as one that I wanted to look up. And he ended up being a harder to find item. He sold really quick. I ended up taking a best offer of 18 for him. The buyer was all in for 24.46. So the hero clicks, uh, they have, um, it, it tells you the information right here on the side. So they're easy to look up. It's just time consuming. So you have to figure out if you want to take the time to, to look them each up. These are um, 
Flynn, Ryder, and Mom um, from Tangled, Rapunzel. And these are cake toppers. So what I want to point out here is you can see on her hair, there's some paint loss on his head. And these still sold. A great thing to put in the title is cake topper. People buy these and they put them on cakes for their kids. So even with damage, these items will sell. Uh, these came from a thrift store. I had about 25 cents in these and they sold for $11.84 plus tax and shipping. This is a vintage Winnie the Pooh bear with a little Sears, uh, or I'm sorry, he's from Sears, but he has on an Eddie Bauer jacket. How cute is that? I got this at a thrift store for $2 and I ended up selling this for $25.90. Uh, buyer paid shipping. I will say that Winnie the Pooh, I feel like is more long tail than some of other things, but this guy sold pretty quick. Maybe it was that cool Eddie Bauer jacket. All right, speaking of um, things that are typically long tail, Avon items can be long tail, but there are still some out there that are good money. This one is Kenneth J. Lane. Uh, let me show you the signature here, right here. If you see this, definitely look it up. It is uh, Kenneth J. Lane for Avon. And those items typically go for a little more and sell a little quicker. This is actually a enhancer, a pearl, um, pearl enhancer. I don't know. I'm not even really certain what it does, but that's what it looks like. And it ended up selling for a best offer of $18. And I had about 50 cents in that. All right. So remember I told you the clothes pins person bought something else. This is what they came back and bought. And it's a vintage lot of 44 pistol targets. And these are really, really old. And this was a super long tail item. It took a long time to sell. Um, I remember I was at like a garage sale and it was out by a lake and I bought this trunk and it was full of like military and stuff like this. And um, I sold the stuff inside of it. I think I ended up putting the trunk on Facebook Marketplace. But anyway, these ended up selling for $14.50 plus shipping. This is fun. This is a Bucilla, Bucilla Flower Looms in uh, 1967. This one came from a garage sale. I paid a dollar for it and I ended up taking a best offer of $12 and the buyer paid shipping. And this one also sold much quicker than I expected. This guy is a vintage General Mills 1997 Breakfast Babies Beanie Plush Pal Count Chocula. And he is new old stock. I was at an estate sale and I bought a whole bunch of these. They are bread and butter. They are long tail, but um, they do eventually sell. Paid 50 cents for this, sold it for $11.10 plus shipping. This little guy sold quick. This is a Russ Woolies Purple Lamb Plush. Um, Easter in the title is always good for anything that can be used um, as an Easter gift. This one I got at the Goodwill for $1, took a best offer of $20, and the buyer was all in for $29.43. And the last one here is this Vintage Woodstock Peanuts 1972 United Feature Syndi Syndi Syndicate little people figure. And let me show you here. This is what it says on the bottom, made in Hong Kong. It's got all the information you need to look it up. This is Woodstock. And I ended up selling this for a best offer of $25. And I got this at a garage sale for $1. All right, you guys, that was 27 bread and butter bolos. Thank you for being here. If you're new to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments, what is your favorite type of video that I do? Um, if you're new here, check out another video. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here. There's a subscribe and another video down below. Um, leave me a hat emoji. And if you don't know how to hat, like if you're on your desktop or don't have a hat emoji, just write hat. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.